People are always asking us what they can do to get better. They're playing lots of pickleball, but they're just not improving. So then we ask them, are they drilling? We're gonna give you today the core four drills that are gonna help you in the four parts of your game that you're wanting to improve. Welcome back to Pickleball Journey. Today we are talking about the core four drills. So we'll get into the core, the number one drill for dinks. We'll get into the number one for drives, drops, and volleys. So starting off with the dinks here, uh, what's going to happen is I'm here at the dink line, so is Elisha, but I'm going to be moving him around. So I'm going to stay here. What we like to do, we lay a shirt down and we'll take it like this and we'll lay it just in front of the line. So this is an area that Elisha is going to try to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the zone I'm trying to protect. So we've got the paddle. It, I definitely can protect that, but that's a zone that he wants to be aiming for. He's gonna try to hit that shirt. So the way this drill works is that I can hit to the full court, anything inside the kitchen. So I'm moving Elisha side to side, as you see here, and he's trying to get that ball back right on this. He's trying to hit the shirt. So that's his goal. He's trying to win the drill by doing that. My role is just to be cooperative. So I'm not trying to kill him. I'm not try I, I am wanting him to move, but I'm not trying to hit these amazing dinks to, to make him miss. So I'm, I'm being cooperative. Of course, depending on who your partner is, what your skill level is, you might want to narrow this game in a little bit, this drill in a little bit, so that you're not having to cover so much ground because this, this, you do get a good workout really quick from this. Um, so just, just assess your skill level for that. As Justin moves me side to side, I'm working to get Justin off of the green shirt, so I'm gonna move him to his left or to his right to be able to try to get a pop-up from him and take it out of the air, get it to that green shirt. Now, in the same way that we do this in the drill, we're also trying to do this in our match play and our, our rec play. So you're trying to move people around so you can create openings so that, say, um, you're trying to get them out wide and your green shirt's that middle to be able to divide and conquer, separate your opponents so you can hit the middle or just get them moving so that they make dink mistakes. So the key here is during this drill to get them moving around so that you can create pop-ups or errors so I can get it to my, the target that I want. All right, all these drills can be used with two or three balls. You don't need a basket of balls to do any of these drills. So this next one that we're gonna be doing is for the drive. So I'm gonna help out my partner, Justin. I'm gonna be at the kitchen line. He's going to be at the baseline starting out. His goal is to get 10 in a row to my paddle. Once he do does this, he's gonna take one step forward from the baseline, get 10 in a row from that position. He's gonna continue this process one step forward from the next position all the way to the kitchen line until he gets there. Now, um, if you are stuck on a certain spot, you're gonna keep going until you can get 10 drives in a row from that spot. Now, as you get closer to the kitchen line, it's gonna be more like a speed up versus a drive, but you're still trying to progress your way all the way to that kitchen line. Also notice during this drill, even though this is meant for drives, I'm also getting a lot of good volleys in. It's good practice for that ball coming in quick for me to be able to react and get it at his feet or do the best to get it in front of him versus out of the air to him. Before we get into this third drill, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps us out. So this third drill is for the drop. Um, so we're going to organize this point around a drop and we're going to use what you would get, find in your, your bag, uh, just a t-shirt. So we're going to put this t-shirt halfway between the net and the kitchen line. Justin is going to be at the baseline starting out. I'm going to be at the kitchen. Um, I'm going to feed a ball in play. His goal is to hit the t-shirt with a good drop. If he does so during the point, he automatically wins the point. We stop it, we reset, I feed the next ball, he starts out at the baseline again, I start at the kitchen, and we continue on. He gets that point. We're playing to 10. Now, the caveat is that if he hits it in the net, he goes negative points, uh, one point. So he, it's easier for him to win a point, but it's also easier for him to lose a point. My goal is to make sure that we keep the ball deep so he's having to hit hard drops, difficult, and putting it in the net. And if I bring it in a little bit shorter, he's gonna have easier drops. So I wanna make sure that I'm catching the ball out of the air, 
or if I let it bounce, I'm getting it back deep in the core. So that's my job, and his job is to hit those great drops. All right, so for our final drill, we're doing volleys. We're working specifically on reflex volleys. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off hitting down the line to each other. I didn't mention, but we're gonna take a step inside of the kitchen line. And we're gonna hit, I'm gonna hit backhand to forehand. And well, for Elisha, it's, for us, it's backhand to backhand because we're lefty and righty. Yep. But we're hitting one down direction the down the line. And then we're hitting, as you see here, we're hitting the other direction down the line. We're trying to get to 20 each side, and then we're going anywhere. And so really this is trying to get our eyes focused on the ball well, get our hands moving really well. Once you do this, stepped in inside the line, then take a step back and you're gonna feel so much quicker. Your hands are gonna be lightning fast. You're gonna be seeing the ball huge. Are you in pursuit for the best paddle? Get engaged with Engage. See the description for 20% discount. You know, I'm wearing down these shoes. I don't know if you can see them here, but uh, I love it that I can go on Promise. They've got shoes, gear, all kinds of stuff. 10% discount. See the description below. Do it.